Amen. 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 Give it on to God who is ever from the bed of my life. I'm grateful for this opportunity, but I also want to recognize the sidekick that's sitting on the front row, the person of my daughter, and my number one support. Amen. 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 I also want to thank Pastor Marcus for a seat by me, Dr. Bright, all of my leaders in the ministry, and all of those that I know that have been praying for me. Amen. But not to believe the power. I have a fourth word, and it comes from Matthew chapter 27, verses 45 through 47. And the word of God reads this way From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness came over all the land. About three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said he's called Elijah. And I believe that God just has me here this evening to encourage you that you are failing, not forsaken. Come on, man. Please pray with me. Father God, use me for this new moment in a way that you have never used me before. To the end that you will be glorified, your people will be edified, and surely the enemy will be terrified. My, my. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I find it rather intriguing yet strangely funny that in all the times that God has touched the heart of the past Marcus or any other pastor to invite me to the little word of the Friday, 50% of the time I was given this particular passage of scripture to preach on. <laughs> Initially, I was rather perplexed and I had to ask myself if that was a test that I was going to <laughs> that was a lesson that I wasn't fully really learning. Then eventually, I felt like Jesus when he made the explanation that was read from your ear. And I also shouted with a loud voice. But then I asked God, why? Hmm. As quickly as the question left my lips, I heard some of this that said, why not? Amen. Yes. Now, if anyone knows me, they know that I don't like that person from here. But I guess it was God's way of telling me that I shouldn't question him to begin with. Too sure. <laughs> After pondering for every moment, I believe that this is the same dilemma that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is faced with as the blood is ripped from the thorny crown on his head, from the nails of his hands and down to the holes of his feet. It must have been quite a struggle for him to lay. It must have been heartbreaking to see the tears of his mother's eyes 
Thank you. 